Bob has always been um, willing to experiment with different ideas and different projects. He's always willing to go to that, that uncharted territory, right? Or, 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 or push the students to do that because he really feels as if that helps to develop a student, to bring out the passion in students. The, the start of all this, uh, I uh, graduated from high school, of course, uh, went on to a small school in western Pennsylvania, St. Vincent College. And at St. Vincent, I started out uh, in an engineering program. They had at the time what they called a 3-2 program. You went three years at St. At, at, at Vincent. You went two years to Penn State, and you got two degrees out of the deal. Uh, one engineering degree from Penn State and another bachelor's degree from, from St. Vincent. And I started out in engineering, and, and um, I was doing okay, but, but I was always bothered by, you know, look, here are the rules, learn them and like them, period, right? And this goes back to all the, you know, statics courses and dynamics courses and even the calculus courses. Here's the way it works, shut up and learn it, right? And, you know, it just always bothered me. So somewhere halfway through that program, I just decided I don't think I can deal with this anymore. And not really having any firm direction in mind, uh, I'd pick mathematics. Robert Finero is getting the Undergraduate Teaching Award. He is at North Carolina State and is getting it because of his ability to take the kind of real-world software development problems, the things that are open-ended, that have badly defined borders, that have problems that are not obvious to an undergraduate, and making these things undergraduate problems that help educate the students and bring them forward. And in the discrete math course, it got into all sorts of things like, you know, probability and combinations of things, and, and one of the, the areas was Boolean algebra, which just struck me as, oh, this is really interesting because all the rules are different. You know, you've got your axioms in Boolean algebra, and that gives you a different path mathematically to follow. So, as a matter of fact, I, I just enjoyed that area, and, and I wrote my senior thesis at St. Vincent in Boolean Algebra, and uh, you know that, that was the first step. I didn't know at the time where this was headed, right? And Boolean Algebra, of course, is the underlying elements of circuit theory for digital design. As a graduate student, I ended up in mathematics at Penn State. And uh, at the time, um, it was the same thing. Some of the math courses were theoretical and, you know, oh my gosh, you know, learn it and like it, you know, kind of stuff. But it was okay because it was in the fundamentals of how you think and how math works. He has that ability to, to see a project and to be able to pare it down to something and to scope it outright so that our students really can grasp it and be excited about it and make it happen. I was the second person to graduate from Penn State's computer science program with a PhD. So I uh, went to NC State uh, in 1969. And so, um, and this seemed to suit me. Uh, it, I was, it was up to my own devices to go find other things going on in the university to involve computers. So uh, I went out and knocked on doors and ran into a, uh, a system, uh, a programming environment where they were building uh, an operating system for a real-time dedicated uh, piece of hardware, which was, again, at the time, brand new stuff. It was just like nobody knew how this worked. About 20 years ago, uh, my department head at the time uh, came down and knocked on my door and said, you know, what we need to do is start getting undergraduates. We want to focus on undergraduates. There's a graduate program out there, but we still need to focus on undergraduate students. Um, what we need to do is, is start getting students to work in teams. Everybody knows computer science students are mostly geeks, and they just want to go in a corner and be left alone. Yeah. But uh, so we wanted to attack that, and again, this was like way out of my um, box. You know, I, I'm a mathematician. I'm a, I'm a sort of a scientist. I'm a logician. I write programs. I understand how computers work. And so the first few years, uh, the idea was okay, uh, get some projects from from local industries. Uh, get them to partner up, give students challenges. So the students get a problem paragraph. We assign a team of three or four students and they get one semester to solve that problem in some way, shape, or form. So uh, we just took a look at that and, and came up with what I think is a fairly unique approach to solving the team 
situation. I mean, students are technically competent. They know what they're doing, but in order to really leverage that, you have to work with other people, and you have to learn to like that, <laughs> which for computer science students, not an easy thing. So uh, we put together a team uh, of, uh, uh, of instructors from both computer science and the outside world of, of uh, communication, you know, like personal communication. So, you know, 20 years ago we started it and uh, it just keeps on going. And, you know, that's led to, we, I, I can't tell you the number, every semester we have between 10 or 15 or even as many as 20 teams of three or four students working on 20 separate projects. And to keep that, that herd <laughs> focused on their projects. See, the thing is, none of us on the faculty who are involved know how to solve that problem. He is um, great at, at trusting people with, with things that, um, that he may not be as comfortable with, right? So he knows where his boundaries are. And of course, uh, some of the award-winning teams uh, that came out of that and were involved in the uh, IEEE Computer Society Design Competition. And we managed to get first place two times in that competition, which was like, in a way, I know, I know the competition no longer is in place and I'm kind of relieved because how do you beat that, you know? <laughs> and that's what makes the center work because Bob trusts people and trusts their gifts and, and knows that we can bring it all together to make just a fantastic experience for our students. But all along the way, the idea was uh, if it's a new problem, if nobody has ever been there, for some reason I gravitated toward that. Robert Finero, Undergraduate Teaching Award for the IEEE Computer Society. Thank you.